Hey, it's Philip with G6 Technology Services. In this video, we've got another Cisco 3725 router that I got on eBay. Uh, if you have seen the uh, other two videos about the uh, Cisco 3725, that one is going to be dedicated for dial-up modem, um, dial-up connections. Um, this one, I want to just have more general purpose, just to play around with it, do more uh, Ethernet type things. We're not going to have any analog modem cards in there. Um, so anyway, uh, this is still sealed. I just got this today. So we'll open it up and we'll see what kind of shape it's in. The other one didn't fare too well in shipping. It had uh, the front plastic grill was completely destroyed and it was a little bit dented. The top cover kind of popped off. So hopefully this one's better. I messaged the seller when I bought it and asked them to take extra special care to package it. So hopefully they did that. So let me grab the box cutter and get this box open. Alright, got my trusty box cutter. Let's see. Well, it's more promising so far. The other one was full of packing peanuts, and this one they used this nice uh, filled air pouch things. So I'm already liking this. And it looks like I'm going to need two hands to kind of dump this out, but I'm very hopeful that uh, this is going to work because this seems like a lot better packaging than the other seller used. So one second and I'll get this out. Alright, so here is our bubble wrap cocoon. Uh, it looks like this is just preformed side pieces. Let's see if I can get this off of here. You know, I don't want to drop this on the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove all this stuff and then I'll come back. Okay, got that out, so the moment of truth. Oh, it's all in one piece. That's so good. I know it didn't sound like it just then, but I'm so happy that it's actually all in one piece. Actually, I think this is broken, but that's not a big deal. The rest of it's all on there. Um, it is a little bit scratched, and I don't have ears, but I prepared for that and bought some. It was like $7 or something, it was pretty cheap. And then we do have a card port thing that's missing, so that's too bad because the picture showed that it was complete. And then it is pretty dusty in there. You kind of see some fingerprints. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, um, and then we'll see what the condition is inside. I might have to take it outside and blow it out a little bit if it's full of dust. The other one was pristine. It was so clean, and it had all the blank plates. This one's a little dented. But uh, anyway, not a huge deal. Um, I'd rather have that and not have this little bit of rust that's in here. But I guess I can't complain. As long as it turns on, that's fine. It's going to go in the rack, and then I'm not really going to look at it too much. So let's get this cover off. Alright, I found the uh, the ears. I was worried about that for a second because I ordered those um, before I actually got this in. And they arrived and I put them in a safe place so I wouldn't lose them. And it was a little bit too safe because I almost couldn't find them, but I did find them. That's a little bit worrisome. The screw has some, oops, the screw has some rust on it. I don't know if you can really kind of see that, but We'll see when we get into it. That's always the concern ordering on eBay is a lot of this stuff is stored in a non-climate controlled warehouse. I've gotten some computer equipment like that from a local university where they store everything in their property management building, which is just an unair conditioned warehouse. And there has been large amounts of corrosion on certain things. remember how you get this cover off actually. I think it just kind of tilts. I don't think it slides. Did I miss some screws? No. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it just lifts. Oh, maybe you have to take this off. I can't remember. It's kind of tight and it's dented. I'll see if I can straighten it back out a little bit. Oh, is this all like 
one piece somehow. Okay, well, there's that. And then, oh, okay, yeah. So you did have to take that off. Now it just comes right off. Right. And, well, it's a little bit dusty. Ooh, that's not good. All those little rust spots in there, but the board looks okay. I don't see any damage on the board. It has a CF card, so that's good. It's a slight little bit dusty, but the fans are like slightly dusty. It's not really uh, coming off too good just blowing on it. It's uh, a little bit stuck on there, so I think I'm just going to go with it. I'm not going to worry about it. It's not that bad, and I'm just going to turn it on and see if it blows up or not. So we'll put that cover back on. I'm just going to put all those screws back in. I guess you don't need to watch that. And then I'm going to go stick it in the rack, and then we will plug in the console cable and power and see if it comes on. Okay, well I changed my mind on the order, so I'm going to go ahead and power it up on the bench because the server room is pretty loud and I want to hear what these fans sound like without all the extra noise in there. So I've got my console cable plugged in and the power cable. So let's go ahead and power it on and we'll see what happens. Oh, it's doing something. And it sounds nice and quiet. Lights are working on the front. And it's just going. So that usually takes a few minutes, so I'll go ahead and stop the video here real quick and we'll come back on whenever it does something else all right well it is working and it's asking us if we want to go into the system configuration dialog so I don't want to go ahead and do that right now because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this unit yet this was mostly just a physical test to make sure it works I'm gonna go ahead and put the rack ears on it I'm just gonna turn it off because we're done with that for now it works um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rack here. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna put the rack ears on it, and then go ahead and put it in the rack. And I'll show you that if I can get the bag open. And I learned from last time that these. Let me see if it says it. Okay. Well, these are like knockoff ones, and it's not actually printed on here. The Cisco ones say left and right, and it does actually matter which ones you put on. I can't get that bag open either, so hold on a sec. Alright, so in it, what I was saying is it does matter which side these go on. I didn't realize that, but it does. And the, the holes will not line up if you don't have it on the right side. So, there. So this short one goes on this side. I don't know if you can kind of... I'm not doing a great job of showing it, but... See how, can you tell all four holes line up? Right there. And then if I try to put this one on, you can even tell just having it off to the side, the bottom ones would line up, but the top ones are too high. So this one goes on the other side, and this one goes on this side. So that's a tip because that caught me off guard at the beginning. Because all the other equipment that I've ever used it's just the same one on both sides and it's, it's not sided. So I don't know why Cisco did that. It just makes it a little bit more confusing. I guess unless you know about it, so if you're in the business, you don't have to worry about it because you already know what to do. So I guess you don't need to watch me do this, but that's basically what you do is you just line up whichever one goes on which side and then you just screw the four screws in on both sides and I mentioned this in the other video and other people have mentioned this before I don't think it's new knowledge at this point but I'll just say it anyway but see how these ears the holes are not complete they have a slot instead of a round hole I'll show you what that's for when we get in there but it makes it easier to, to hang it up on the rack because you can just put the bottom screws in and just set it on the bottom and then screw the top ones in so you don't have to hold the whole thing up with one hand uh, while you mount it. So let me finish getting these up and then we will go in the server room. Alright, there it is with the ears mounted. 
And then we'll look at the front again. This nice kind of teal color. So let's show you where it's going to go. So here's the other one right here. And we're just going to put this one below it because the top one I want room for these ATAs because of all these analog modem cards. I have another ATA that's going to go up here and we're going to put phone lines in all these. So that's another, another project. So in the meantime, we're going to put the new router here. And I'm going to go do that right now, which I'm not going to be able to show you because it's going to need two hands to manage it. But I'll come right back as soon as it's there. Alright, it is in here, so let's go ahead and hit the power switch. And then I'm going to go back over and make sure that console is coming up. Yep, which it is. So if you're not sure how I'm doing this, I have a remote desktop session open to a virtual machine that's running off of this ESXi host. Then I have my uh, USB to serial adapter cable plugged into that so I can manage the console remotely. I would like to get a uh, serial terminal server at some point where I can just hook up the serial consoles to all of this equipment and be able to manage them remotely. Right now I just have to, have to switch this around to different things, but um, it's fine for now. So at some point if I can find a decent price on a serial console or a serial terminal server, I will pick one up if I can find a multi-port unit. But um, anyway, that's the setup for now. This was just, uh, like I said, just kind of a hardware overview, getting it racked up and taking a look at it. I'll have uh, some other videos in the future whenever I actually get around to playing with it, configuring some things. So anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.